All right, let's do this one more time. I'm your local comic, Sean. <laughs> I'm the comic book hunter. I figured Spider-Man was a fitting way to go into this. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I asked Sean right before here if he wanted to start, and then I hit record, so <laughs> that was a bit of improv. And I was like, sure, let's, let's, let's go. Uh, JD's not here, and... Um, we Hunter's just found that out. Anymore. Yeah, we just found that <laughs> <laughs> We were waiting for JD, because you know, uh, something came up, so it's all good. We're, it's just going to be me and him this week, uh, me and Sean. And yep. yeah, we let's, let's, let's do it, man. Uh, starting with for those of you just joining the Hero Story, sorry, this is our this is a podcast all about superheroes and comic books, usually hosted by Comic Book Hunter, History of the Flash, your local comic, Sean, guy named Harper. Oh, am I a host media. now? Kind do of. I have, do I have host status? Maybe one. Day. I'm no Maybe longer one. recurring. You're a recurring guest. <laughs> this actually, this actually, I was, I, I was looking. This actually marks my tenth episode like on this podcast i was like oh my 10th anniversary (laughs) (laughs) we'll we'll have to we'll have to discuss with the council but oh okay yeah you know so the 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 council of reeds yeah exactly but (laughs) for now you know don't get too excited all right all right i'll be humble i'll be humble thank you it's a comic book (laughs) podcast we talk all about comics and the news of the week this episode's slightly delayed because disney plus day happened today which we all thought would be so much and it being something but not everything that i think we all expected uh the comics we're reviewing this week are robin's number two is it uh yeah robin's number two and if anybody's like wait that hasn't come out yet it came out digitally on dc universe that's why i read it oh wait <laughs> hunter do you have dc universe i do not no ah yeah no. i have marvel unlimited <laughs> but yeah I'm not... that's good that's good yeah besides that for dc comics i've read a lot of dc I haven't I've read way more DC than I have of Marvel. So when it comes to like, yeah. oh, what old runs do I want to read? There's only a handful. Well, for Marvel, I want to read like this, 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 yeah. this. So uh, DC, DC, Uni- DC Unlimited, sorry. DC Universe Infinity. Oh, okay. One day. To infinity but... and cut. <laughs> so so one day, but right now, I, I'm just not too interested. Mm-hmm. Uh, other comics this week are um, Black Manson number three, The Amazing Spider Man 78, and Venom number one. Ewing's run started, so I'll, we'll talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I, I wasn't planning on getting it, but there was only two other comics that I was reading this week, so I thought, eh, okay, sure. Yeah, th- like this, just to put things into perspective, the only thing on my polls this week was Venom, and then I looked at next week, and it's like, oh, cool, I don't have to drop much this <laughs> this week, and then I looked at next week. Batman, Dark Ages, Flash, <laughs> Nice House on the Lake, Nightwing, Suicide Squad, Superman, Son of Kal El. Are you serious? And that's, I'm serious. Seven I'm books. Most next of week. those. And I was oh, like, no. the, the ones that I get that now I'm like on the fence. Uh, Kang the Conqueror, which I've been enjoying, and then the print copy of Robins because I'm like, ah, oh, I should collect it. Um, Probably or at least the away. first issue, but. Yeah, I was just like, I was like, oh my god. I'm like, yeah, glad I only had one book this week. <laughs> wow, okay. I didn't realize financial, there was... <laughs> financial decisions. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to check that real quick. So what's next week? It's the, not the 10th. Next week is the 17th. 17th yeah. yeah, I have Batman, Spider-Man, The Flash, Nightwing. Spider-Man um, again? Yeah, Spider-Man just happens often. <laughs> my god. It's a rapid fire. Yeah, Spider-Man. Uh, oh, well, isn't it kind of like the, around the time of, uh, what was it? What was it around issue number 50 where they had like the L, R's, like all the letter issue numbers? You know what I'm talking about? No. Back back during, was it, was it Last Remains? It was in Nick Spencer's run. I remember, like, there was around issue fifty. Oh, oh, they had like, uh, like they the had 50. like forty. 1. Yeah, they had all of those, so it was like really uh, another issue. Is that what it is? Oh, it totally I think I, is. Yeah, it totally I think is. I saw that. Isn't there like a Misty Night or yeah, something? Yeah, it is a Misty Night focused yeah. issue. It's a seventy-eight point B E Y. Yeah, I thought that's what I saw. Okay, well, I might pick it up still. Yeah. Uh, so Batman, Spider Man, Nightwing, Flash. Um, I'm not even caught up in Flash. Nice House on a Lake, Superman, Son of Kal El. Not reading King. Not reading Moon Knight. Yeah, you have Su- you have Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad's good. I still like Suicide Squad. Yeah, no, you do. 
I just wish I just wish ambush bug was off off of it. I feel like he distracts too much. That's fair, yeah. Um, I think that might be it for me. Just okay. through. I do notice um I guess I'll start with the news of the week. So uh the Aqua Lab book, Jackson Side's book is called Aquaman the Becoming. Mm-hmm. And issue three next week, uh the the cover at the very top it says prelude to Aquaman, which is a title not announced. Yeah. So it looks like no, I thought they announced that. Not officially. Not officially. Okay. We haven't seen a cover. We don't know who's on the who's on the book, like writer or artist. So mm-hmm. let's wait and see. Uh, anyways, I guess real news. We'll, we'll jump into Disney Plus Day, which happened. Did you watch it? Um. Well, I didn't watch it. I work. <laughs> that's so fair. I thought there wasn't anything to watch. I watched the thing on Disney Plus. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, there wasn't really anything to watch. <laughs> so Hunter, last year there Hunter. was. Yeah. I'm just staring at you and Dwayne Johnson in the corner. <laughs> it's about drive, man. <laughs> it's about so, drive. It's about you power. Got a with that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god. Let's see. I'll go to I'll go to Marvel's account here just to make sure I get all these announcements correct. But, so yeah, I, I basically I saw the updates from work because I work I so I have a different job Monday through Friday. We know this. And I was at the computer. And I kid you not, like, I I, I just kind of had that instance where I was like, I feel like I should check Twitter now. <laughs> and then I started seeing all the stuff instance. come through. And I was like, ah, I, I thought I sensed a disturbance in the polls, <laughs> which wasn't Kenobi. It was Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we got some Kenobi stuff, but just kind of behind we the scenes. We got concept art. art. Yeah. <laughs> to go very a hero story, Star Wars story, story. All we got from Kenobi was concept art. Like nothing else Star Wars was announced, right? Even, Aside from the, yeah. the Boba Fett uh, documentary thing, mm-hmm. which looks cool. But yeah, it looks like, awesome. la- like that's the thing. If I, I got to be honest, I like DC uh, fandom better this year. I, I feel like it, I, I feel too. like it's I feel like it's Disney Investor Day one. <laughs> like they're tied up now. Yeah, because Disney, Cause, Disney won last year. Because like, I mean. A lot of the stuff that got announced, like we're gonna dive into it now, but a lot of the stuff that got announced or talked about, a lot of it we already knew about. <laughs> and we then knew about all of it pretty much. Star Wars announced so many things last year, and then this year was just a look at Kenobi. And I was like, man, yeah, kind of want to see more. <laughs> Nothing on Boba Fett either. I know we got the trailer last week, but we didn't get No Way Home stuff from. Uh, I mean, we have leaks to talk about, but we didn't get anything during oh, the that day, was right? Sony. That would be just Sony. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, even uh, even last year's Disney Investor Day, Kevin Feige only said Spider-Man No Way Home by saying Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Well, like, it'll lead into uh, Doctor yeah, Strange, yeah, but they didn't yeah, even yeah. show a logo or anything. So, mm. uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll jump into it. So last year, it was Kevin Feige in front of a green screen being like, here's this, here's this, here's this, here's a trailer, here's a poster, and here's the cast. Blew the world apart. Exactly. <laughs> Marvel's first family. So, but this year, there wasn't a stream. It was just a I refreshing Twitter. That. It was literally just refreshing Twitter and every so often you get a logo. That's actually how I experienced Investor Day last year, though. <laughs> I was sitting, I was sitting, I was sitting on my bed. My brother was playing World of Warcraft or something in the corner. Mm-hmm. And I, was i was on instagram and like it kept refreshing and like the new like title cards would go up and i was just there like oh my god they're doing armor wars they're doing this they're doing that and then i was like you know saying to my brother i go look they're doing all this stuff and he's like i am in the middle of a raid i couldn't care less (laughs) (laughs) all this stuff is happening wandavision (laughs) wandavision yeah i was like i was just that's how i experienced it though i was just i was refreshing being like oh my god Oh my God, Moon Knight! Oh my! <laughs> you yeah. know, was, every time you're fresh, you get more excited. You're like <laughs> that's basically what this one was, except it wasn't yeah. as exciting because it's because we it, knew a lot of the stuff. I we understand. Knew it. I understand. Last year they announced three years worth of content, and it's only been a year, so it's kind of hard to announce well, look, more. I made you some content. We didn't get any movies though. It was all just Disney Plus. They really want to focus. I noticed on that. that. Yeah, and last year they did movies and shows but this was all just shows so we'll go through the list and kind of talk about everything that they talked about starting with the one of the two surprises x-men 97 
a continuation of the animated series from the 90s. <laughs> when I, uh, a coworker of mine is a big X-Men, X-Men guy. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as that got announced, I told him, he goes, wait, what? And then we both immediately started going, da 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 <laughs> oh they're gonna keep that for sure that's gonna be nostalgic i mean I'm, I'm on the i'm on the twitter page right now top comment is i can already hear the theme song in my head and the other top comment is by tom taylor saying all new so <laughs> yeah it, it's continuing that's really cool that they're bringing it back uh, probably updated animation but no we don't know anything besides that just that it's coming 2023 though i believe mm -hmm. Yeah, 2023, so it's going to be a little bit, but all new episodes of the animated series. I wonder how the animation will look. Because it is wild to go back from, like, beginning of the Clone Wars to, like, Clone Wars Season 7, and you just see the difference. That'd be... I'm curious to see how 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 advanced it'll look. Because, like, Probably I'm, great. Assu I'm assuming they're going to keep it the same. Because I know uh, even Young Justice, its animation has changed quite a bit over the years yeah like a little bit yeah because they i know they made it to look a little more like the dca au yeah <laughs> not a fan not a fan i like the style but it's just in so many things that it's kind of mm. like okay it's have you watched young justice no i'm not watching it all right not watching it okay i i didn't finish season three so uh, okay yeah okay. maybe one day I heard uh, Cassandra Kane was in it, and they just said she didn't have. Um, I'm happy about that. Felt like I'm not going to act like I'm a Cassandra Kane fan or anything, but I do find it very cool that like another character that hasn't really been explored thus far in the series, especially a character like that, is getting explored. Yeah. Um, because she, she, her, and Artemis are big. Like the way they're doing it is, is they're kind of doing it Clone Wars style, where it's arcs. So it's like four episode arcs. And so her, Artemis, and Cheshire are like leading this arc. So that's sure. cool. Sure. Sorry. Are I'm you eating so... panda cookies? Yeah, I had three followers message me this week saying, yo, those are so good. Oh so, my. Because I had God. these last week. So now I am having a Brooklyn Defender. Is it Defender? Well, it's Brooklyn something um, beer, which is quite, quite tasty. Mm. Thank you, Terramana. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Tech Nine. Thank you, Terramana. One tick. Uh, so after that, they, they showed the Moon Knight logo that we saw a year ago and said, Marvel Studios Moon Knight, an original series coming soon to Disney Plus. No, that was it. <laughs> it's like, okay. We did eventually get yeah. some footage really quick, like maybe five seconds, ten seconds in total. We saw the back of Moon Knight. We yeah. saw the hand of Moon Knight. So the boot of Moon Knight. Yep, and we saw him jumping across the building. We saw the CGI jump of Moon Knight. Yep, <laughs> across the moon. And we saw Oscar Isaac with wide eyes, being like, <laughs> "Yeah, very afraid." What do you think of the accent? Like... Did he have an accent? He he, had, like the way he was talking, I was like, it, I it wasn't normal Oscar Isaac, so I was like, okay, this is different. <laughs> I don't remember. I guess I was expecting more Poe Dameron, <laughs> just and then like the way it's out, I go, I was not expecting that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, um this isn't the one i'm most excited for besides hawkeye i'm really excited for hawkeye but i think oh, you're knight. most excited for moon knight besides oh. hawkeye yes mm -hmm. okay okay i love the hawkeye scene if you too. want to segue into that next um we'll, we'll get there i'm just going to go okay. through the the order of the announcements but yeah moon knight looks cool so far it also looks like the leak suit was real hey you know what it that? does look like the leaks that's weird because that leak looked really fake to me it's just had like a weird glow effect on the eyes but it turns out hey they, the show is going to have a weird glow effect on the eyes okay i'm okay with that also well, like we gloves, don't know we might suit. have updated it we're getting mr knight as well which is recent yeah so that's cool I, I like the mr knight suit i do too looks like yeah. we're gonna i hope we get the the mask as well Mm -hmm. Or it was just Oscar. I mean, it was just Oscar Isaac. That's okay too. But <laughs> <laughs> She Hulk was shown next. Uh, a new um, new logo for it, and it mm -hmm. just said Marvel Studio She Hulk, an original series coming soon. No release date for any of this stuff, by the way. <laughs> just coming soon. Yeah, they narrowed the release date for Miss Marvel, but nothing else really had anything. Mm -hmm. She Hulk. We also got a quick kind of snippet of things shown. 
we show we see the back of she hulk we see the the feet of she hulk we see the leg of she hulk but we don't see her in total and we see mark ruffalo <laughs> yeah along with hulk mark ruffalo what is this time i'm so confused <laughs> so so she in so in endgame he's stuck as professor hulk when in shang chi he's back to just bruce banner but in here Wait. we see him as professor hulk but we also see him as bruce banner hold up was his arm okay in this you it was it was it was it was okay right mm -hmm. so i thought that was permanent i thought, I thought so he too. was like screwed up <laughs> mm -hmm. i thought he was permanently he had had the arm has to be in the cast forever i thought that too and then it, he just like rage one day and it kind of healed itself no he went back to human it healed naturally oh uh, and then <laughs> but how did how does hulk. i don't know i <laughs> so we're know. so confused over hulk even though we like we literally don't have an answer we don't have it's literally the mark ruffalo meme mark ruffalo huh? Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was me watching the snippet i'm like that that's that's hulk but that's mark ruffalo well, well it's <laughs> clear from the snippet that it's not jason aaron she hulk because it doesn't look like hulk she doesn't it look looks like out. it looks like jennifer yeah which is great i mean yeah. uh, it, it seems like she has her comic suit as well yeah so it, it, it looks, looks cool. good i'm pretty uh, excited i think it. i think of all the teases i got i mean i love the hawkeye snippet but like hawkeye is coming this month um oh, i think no. out of everything that's like future she hulk was what i, I most was excited don't bring it back ah! <laughs> for the audio listeners i have a, a screenshot of dwayne johnson in the background and every so often my computer will fade to black because i'm not moving the mouse and i just have to shake it a little bit to make sure dwayne 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 is still showing Go okay. see Red Notice coming soon to <laughs> Netflix. Is it out like now? I think it's in theaters now. I think it's on Netflix next week. I thought it was on Netflix this week. Let's see. Let's see. On Let's this. Watch. Oh, it's on right. It, it's on now. You want to watch it? Oh, it is. No, I'm not doing Watch Party Red Notice. Right now? <laughs> no. Pretty sure? <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> An FBI profiler pursues the world for most wanted art thief, becomes his reluctant partner. Are you reading this synopsis crime, or does it do an, an intro saying that? No, I'm reading. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the intro. To and it's, hey, it's, it's Ryan results. Reynolds. It's Once. Ryan Reynolds, proud owner of Aviation, American Gin, and Mint Mobile. And Dwayne Johnson, brown odor of Zona. Zona, <laughs> Zona and Terramana. Terramana and the last 25 seconds of my song. It's very short. It's also thank not. Thank you, Tech Nine, and thank you, Terramana. Okay, to another time. After that, it was Miss Marvel. <laughs> uh, it said Miss Marvel original series, which was rumored to be delayed till October, but they said summer 2022. So it looks like it's still going to be a summer movie. Competing with Stranger Things. <laughs> oh, yeah, it will be. Well, I mean, Stranger I... Things is also summer 2022. Different streaming services, though. Yeah. Yeah, the one that you're on right now watching Red Notice. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I'm watching Red Notice. I couldn't hear that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so yeah, Miss Miss Marvel. Um, and so she's straight up Green Lantern. Yeah, she's flying. This shows a little thing of her flying. Well, no, she's not flying. She's like making constructs to step on in the air. Ah, uh, that's what's reflected in the the glass uh, of the building. Uh, you see like little sparks of purple and that's where she's flying. stepping that's straight up green lantern yeah it's a little bit a little i thought bit. that they when they said there would be a construct instead of like her skin growing i thought they were gonna do just a fist contract or construct and that's it but the fact that she can make anything was she gonna make a jet plane now be literally held toward it. i don't know if it's gonna be that advanced because like she, so far we've seen the promo she's making a fist and in this she's making steps to walk across like it's not like she's flying it's not like she's building anything so for me i feel like like that's the thing where i question all right what are the limits of this bracelet thing gonna be you know because mm -hmm. that's the idea right it's purple black bracelet gives her powers mm -hmm. like you know it's one of those things where it's like all right if we're gonna put limits on it you know, it's kind of it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? If it's a bracelet that can make anything, have it make any like you know, I'm I'm very 50-50 on what how this is all gonna work out. It's just kind of disappointing. 
Dude, your through. arm is shaking. You are steaming from the show. Uh, sorry. Just like Green Lantern. <laughs> I dropped that book. They copied. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> they copied Green Lantern. I don't know. It's just kind of disappointing. We'll have to wait and see. This and how many, just... how many, how many characters did Marvel copy from DC? <laughs> Oh, they copy each other, but I think for the MCU... Yeah, they do copy each other. And, like, when you think about we're getting a Green Lantern show, and Miss Marvel's probably going to look a lot better. Yeah. Wait, so, wait, what? What did I you think... say I zoned out? All I heard was Miss Marvel will look better. I think the suit's going to look awesome. I think, no, as far as visual effects and whatnot, I think Miss Marvel will look better than the Green Lantern show because it's Marvel Studios. They tend to be pretty decent with CGI nowadays. Well, also, they're putting a lot into their series. Like, their series mm-hmm. are costing more than anything else. And compared to Green Lantern, I don't know. <laughs> you're not, you don't have faith in HBO Max? I have faith. I just think Miss Marvel might look better. You, you're not impressed by Titans? <laughs> no, I'm not, Sean. You don't like, you don't like uh, Beast Boy turning into a bat and tiger? And one clip. time a snake. What's the what's the one that got away? <laughs> Whatever that was for Bruce Wayne's password. With the you're hint. telling me that he put a hint on it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say because you you pulled out all those Red Hood comics and I got cut off and distracted. It gets better, better before that. Before they even enter the building. Um, Dick like goes to leave or whatever and trust Garfield and Tim to take care of like the password and everything. And uh, Tim goes, well, how will, how will I know what the, uh, what the passcode is? And he's like, the last person who made it was Jason Todd. And Tim was like, got it. And then when Garfield gets to the panel or I forget how it goes down, but basically it's like, all right, so wait, what's the passcode then? I don't get it. And they go 69, 420. <laughs> Did they actually say that? <laughs> it was either 420, 69, or 69, 420. That's... But it was that, and then it was the password, the hint protected password. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> Nikki Terramana. <laughs> this is water, by the way. I'm just drinking water. <laughs> hey. Uh... Okay. Um, what if season two? Cool. Time. Yep. Space. Reality. It's what if linear path. we made another season? <laughs> yep. And we actually explained what the heck that device was in the finale. <laughs> <laughs> they then announced Echo, confirming that it is indeed happening after multiple, multiple, multiple reports. Yeah, those were reports. The question yeah. is, is Daredevil going to be in it? Because that was the whole rumor that Daredevil uh, will be in No Way Home, uh, uh, and then he will be in Echo. I was listening to that music all week long, the, the season three soundtrack. It's a great soundtrack. It's such a great soundtrack. I love the funeral. The funeral is my favorite. One. Yes, oh. yes, that one. And we'll talk about that because there's something I want to see, but we'll discuss it when we talk about something else. Okay, <laughs> yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yep, yep. But yeah, I guess happening. I mean, um, I, I hope they do a lot with her character. She's a mm-hmm. she's a hero in the comics that doesn't get a lot of love. As in, well, like, now she's the new Phoenix. So yeah, so that's good. I know she's, she's getting, getting a lot more attention now. I say not a lot now. Many like i don't think anyone dislikes echo i think echo is a great character it's just she's not mm-hmm. in much yeah and she's fairly new she's only been around 12 years 13 years something like that longer than miles longer than miles yes and then miles is a huge like superstar but echo i mean she was a daredevil character that kind of mm-hmm. became her own character and then disappeared for like seven years or so like she has not been in comics very often so i'm looking forward to it i hope it, mm-hmm. i hope they follow the comics by having Matt train her. I want Daredevil to train Echo. That'd be cool. Mm. She's going to appear in Hawkeye first, so Hawkeye's going to set up her series. Ah, okay. Next announcement is Spider-Man Freshman Year, an animated series starring Spider-Man in the freshman year. So 15-year-old Peter Another Parker. Another Spider-Man animated show? <laughs> there, oh, like... There's, there's so, so many Spider-Man yeah, there animated is, shows. Yeah. There's a Spider-Woman animated show. That there is? Yeah, that there is. Uh, this would be cool if it was a uh, Spider Verse anim- or any animation. I think it's gonna be cool in general. But Spider Verse uh, style will be really cool. But it looks like Marvel is focusing on this, not Sony animation. So if that's the case, I hope it's two D. I honestly well, I'm hope guessing, it's 2D. 
I'm guessing Marvel, Marvel, I'm guessing has the animation rights to, to Spider-Man because they made Ultimate Spider-Man and all those other Spider-Man shows on Disney. That's true. So I don't, That's I don't true. think those, I think they have the animated the animated rights. I, don't, I just think anything live action they can't touch without Sony. Oh, <laughs> without Sony, yeah. Without Sony. But yeah, I mean, we don't know much about it, but keep your eye yeah. out. But like, which freshman year? High school, college? Uh, it will be high school because they showed a little picture of Peter Parker and he has glasses on. So uh, okay. it'll lead into him getting bit. Yeah, no, All I right. know what you mean. All um, right. A lot of people were thinking that this is going to be Tom Holland's Peter Parker. Like leading up to Civil War. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if that if this is tying in or if it's good because they did announce X Men coming back. That's obviously not in the MCU. No, no. Of I'm not. pretty sure it's not in the MCU. Oh, that'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Yeah, you just is... see Avengers Five portal opens up. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> never know. You never know. Sad Wolverine group. walks out. <laughs> <laughs> I am Groot was announced next and <laughs> liked by Tom. We Taylor. knew about this though, right? <laughs> we did, yeah. We knew, we about, knew this. about this. But they said it's animated. It's not live action. It's animated. It is, yeah. Oh, okay. An animated original series. That See, Tom that's Taylor it. That's that's the other thing. So are they like when I hear animated, is everything going to be the what if style animation, or are they oh, going to yeah. do different style animations? I can see them doing different style. They hire different animators and animation companies to make their stuff, so probably yeah. different. Ironheart mm-hmm. was next. Um, they just show the new logo. They didn't show any information. Yeah, because we knew it's about this. Yeah, we knew about this. Uh, next one was rumored for a long time, but now confirmed. Agatha House of Harkness. A show focused on Agatha from WandaVision. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I rather it, I rather a different character. But you know, I mean, I'll watch it. I'll watch, I'll watch every it. episode. <laughs> like, like that's that's the thing. It's one of those things where I have full faith in Marvel, whatever they do. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, Eternals wasn't my cup of tea, but I did enjoy it more than you know. I it wasn't like I hated it. So even if it's a show that I'm just gonna watch and be like, all right, this is a show, I imagine I'll still enjoy it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll still watch it. I, I rather, and, like I said, I'd rather others, but Agatha's character was good in WandaVision. Mm-hmm. I do think the actress does a very good job. Great job. So yeah. I'm sh- I, I imagine this is going to focus on before WandaVision, Agatha. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, throughout the years kind of thing? Yeah. That's what cool. I'm guessing. Because, like, just... she had that whole thing with the coven of witches. And I imagine it's going to be something like that. Just when you think about it, we've had, like, I want to say a rough estimate. 35 villains in the MCU. And Loki has a spinoff. <laughs> oh, you're Agatha. talking the ones to actually get shows. Yeah, the ones that get shows are Loki and Agatha. So it's like, okay. Well, that's what happens when you get a viral song. That's true. As soon as you become a hit musician, mm-hmm. your career mm-hmm. launches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne Johnson, his career launched because of Face Off. <laughs> If it wasn't for Face Off, we wouldn't know who this guy is. But Remember when Dwayne Johnson was in movies like The Game Plan and The Tooth Fairy? Yeah, he was doing like straight to DVD family movies. Yeah. Kind of thing. yeah. Yeah. Remember when he went from like wholesome, like, you know, not planned plays a dad, dad in yeah. movies <laughs> to indestructible badass every time? Basically, yeah. In Hobbs and Shaw, he picks up a guy with his arm out of the car and smashes him into a wall as the car is going like 120 miles an hour. I hear that wasn't even in the script, too. He just improv it. Oh, he just did it? Yeah. Uh, uh, same with falling off the side of a building and mm-hmm. landing on a guy and living. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, skyscraper. Just, Dwayne Johnson just has people with cameras follow him around and film his life. Oh, my God. These aren't movies. These are just documentaries. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, Marvel Zombies was announced yet, which was also rumored. The zombie apocalypse! apocalypse. Uh, Why? I think it's going to be in the same style as What If. It's it's continuing that world of What If, as far as I know. But yeah. Because they, they announced it and they showed a clip of, like, zombie Wanda from What If. So it looks like we're just getting continuation. Well, that's what I'm... Yeah. But, like... Yeah. 
Marvel Zombies. Maybe since it's a full show focus on it, they'll have better like development, character development, because 30 minutes was not enough to develop these characters. Oh, you don't think they're going to do the comic where uh, Hank Pym bites off his wife's head? Isn't that a thing? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> all right. And the last thing was Secret Invasion. Yeah, that's, that's all I have to logo. say on zombies. I'm just very surprised. I'm like, mm -hmm. Marvel Zombies. They they even brought it back last year. Didn't we have Marvel Zombies Resurrection? Wasn't that last year? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I did not get that. I feel like like that's one of those series that I don't... Like, I, re I read all of Deceased, and I loved all of Deceased. Marvel Zombies, I don't gravitate towards it much. But I did read all of Night of the Living Deadpool. I read all of that. There you go. Are you a zombie yeah. fan then? No, zombie's not really my genre. But you're oh, reading yeah. Disease and Night of the Living Deadpool. <laughs> you know, I, I read stories because I'm like, yeah, that looks kind of cool. But like, I've never been die hard. Like, oh, I gotta, like the, the one zombie movie I watched, like, like before I read anything else or watched anything else was World War Z. What was that, 2012? I think that was too yeah. mm -hmm. like I, I wasn't big into zombie media i haven't watched the walking dead tried getting into it got bored you know just that's not really my cup of tea if if i'm going horror i like slashers i like because i find them predictable and they're 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 funny because they're so predictable yeah that's right oh they opened a <laughs> fridge i guess somebody's gonna be on the other side God, you know? classic <laughs> Kyle Rainer. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, after that, they showed a sizzle reel and a Hawkeye clip, which was about four minutes, which was awesome, by the way. Yeah, it was one four take. Man right? clip, one take. Well, for the most Same. part, yeah. As soon as they got on the car, yeah, oh, it just was, the camera yeah. went in a circle. It shows the the bros, which is the mafia in the like, factions run. They're they're tracksuit yeah, yeah, yeah. wearing mafia that call each other bros and bros always have bros backs and stuff like that so okay. they're they're chasing after quentin kate which is uh directly from hawkeye by david aja and matt fraction issue three i want to say yeah i think it's issue three which right. is, you should you should read it i know i gotta read it i know it's I gotta very read good it. and the whole thing is clint's driving and kate's shooting and it's just mm -hmm. for arrows oh i actually see the way around technically kate's driving and clint's shooting but in this it's they swap well, I love how it's shot. I love that interior. Because did you ever watch Supernatural? I did not. There's an episode where they film it all from the perspective of the car. And like, mm -hmm. it sounds cool in theory, but it, to me, it was kind of like, all right, <laughs> this is. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting the news up the rest of the news while you're doing. Oh, that. OK, but like, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, it was just this long episode just shot from the inside of the car. And I was like, all right, that was kind of more boring. The like, it was full episode. Yeah, full episode um does it cut at all no but it does like fades where it's like it will like fast forward from night to day um That's odd yeah but like the thing was like with this uh, you know it that was kind of like the car would be like sitting in a lot while dean and sam are talking but with this like they're on the road and like you're seeing cars crash into each other him swerving i think that looked really cool i'm excited to see that because I imagine it's going to be a longer sequence too, because you could tell they cut stuff out towards the end. Like when they jump off the bridge with the arrow. Yeah. Like you could yeah. tell some things were snipped. Oh, out of obviously. That. So yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping it's a longer sequence. It will be for sure. And it's just to kind of wrap it up, be like, okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. go. Yeah. We can't show everything. Two weeks. Like imagine, yeah. imagine if they showed the entire 25 minute sequence of, uh, daredevil season three in the prison. Yeah. Imagine if that was like a teaser snippet. That'd be weird. You're gonna scenes. tell me how Fisk got him out of here. <laughs> it's like, oh, so, I guess I guess Fisk has like this thing going on with the Albanian mob. Okay. The end. <laughs> My name yeah. is Foggy Nelson. Not Matt Murdock. <laughs> <I love> <laughs> uh, now for the regular news of the week, because that was Disney Plus Day. That's all it was. Was that yeah. everything? That was everything. That was everything. It was kind of. I mean, it was something. No. It wasn't nothing. It was something. So. It was something. It was something. Yeah. Now for the right. other news of the week. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I'm very happy with my Peacemaker trailer in DC fandom. <laughs> <laughs> I had a follower message me saying, please don't talk about the Spider-Man leaks on the podcast because I don't want to hear it, but I want to listen to the podcast. 
that's what I implied. Right, buddy. He's more so threatening. So, <laughs> all right, buddy. Let's see. Uh, what time did we start? Oh, like time wise. Yeah, we started like eight. All right, I think we're about half an hour in, mate. So I could, so, I could check. I could check. We're so yeah, about thirty minutes in. About half an hour in. Skip ahead like five no, ten I'll, minutes, buddy. <laughs> skip ahead five minutes. Exactly five minutes. I'll put a timer on. So when five minutes is done, we won't. Not exactly. Anymore. Hunter cannot hold up that promise. I will. I, I I promise you, person that I forgot their name. You're gonna have a legal problem if you if you don't. <laughs> and timer's on. So okay. Spider-Man leaks big time. Uh, someone posted on Twitter two images that he got emailed to him from a source that he does not want to give up. He thought mm-hmm. they were fake, so he posted it, but then Sony started deleting it, and Sony gave him a phone call being like, where'd you get this? Who's your source? Delete this now. He explained, hey, I don't want to get my source up, but I didn't realize these were real. I thought it was fake. I'll delete them now. It was up for about an hour, so a lot of people saw it. A lot of people screenshot it, and it spread like wildfire. The damage was done. These are real. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, and there's some people still saying it's fake. Sony's been deleting them. <laughs> I don't know what else you want, and it looks real. It, all the the backgrounds line up with backgrounds from the trailer, especially the image of the table scene. So mm. the first first one, I guess, the table scene is Peter Parker, Happy, bah, Aunt, Aunt May, bah, bah, and Matt Murdock sitting at a table together. Bah, bah, bah. And I literally, oh, I got how did I get chills from that shot? <laughs> I did. I, got, <laughs> I, don't know I, I was so hyped. <laughs> they literally plucked him out of season three. Made him have a bit of a hairline and, and then threw him back in. Yep. Hello. Are you about to put in your password so you can get rock back? Yeah, oh my god. I have finger ID. <laughs> oh my god. But but, but yeah. He's, bah, bah, he's back, bah. man. This is confirmation. He's back. Now keep he's in mind, ba- there was the rumor that Mer- Matt Murdock was in this movie. He had two scenes. The first scene being at the police station. Yeah. And the second scene being him in court with Peter. This is a different scene. This is scene. not it, yeah. You know. So either those rumors are wrong or there's additional scenes. We'll, we'll take it. You know what I want to see? And what? here's where here's where I hope I give you chills. I want the end credit scene to be, this is what I, I want it to be Daredevil centered. Right. And yeah. what I picture seeing, I picture we have, um, like you know the credits and you hear the bah, 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 bah. and then it cuts out you have daredevil walking into his apartment and then he's like in his apartment right and you just start he, like he's just kind of you know thinking or listening to like a broadcast like spider-man blah blah, blah you know on the radio i don't mm-hmm. know but then you just start hearing the boom 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 Bum, bum. and then he turns and he's uh he hears like you know sirens or something opens up the suitcase and like the music starts to shift from the bum, 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 to mm-hmm. the more of the funeral music where it's like uh ba, da, da. i wanted to i want to hear that shift and then he opens the trunk and we get new daredevil suit red with the daredevil the logo DD. on the chest mm-hmm. that we didn't have in the series if I get that, I will lose my mind. <laughs> Tell that I would even take just Matt Murder walk into his apartment and hear the, the heartbeat boom, 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 boom. And boom, you have boom. him like turn around maybe quickly if someone's else in there with them. Fade to black, Daredevil will return. Yeah, I don't know, because that sounds I don't very, need much. Yeah. That I don't sounds need very much. I'm gonna pick up the blade. You sure you wanna do that? <laughs> <laughs> i'd be okay with that I, mean, I don't know i don't need much i just need more or or another scene another scene i had in mind mm. but first say what you're going to say i'm just saying i don't need much i just need more confirmation that marvel studios is going to continue the story of daredevil yeah well the other the other scene i had in mind was matt murdoch goes into a prison i see you got my message <laughs> And we see Kingpin. Well, the thing with that is Kingpin's going to be in Hawkeye. And I think well, he's rumored to be in Hawkeye, right? Or reported, whatever. He's going to be in Hawkeye, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, God damn it. It's been be. said by so many sources. And the actor is liking tweets on Twitter saying that he's going to be in it. 
So <laughs> many tweets people like. But specifically, people you like see tweets. Andrew Garfield being liking people saying, "Are you no way home?" You know, I never got a call. Never got a call. But same with Charlie Cox. Like he's he's denying it though. Uh, there was a there was a comic convention in the UK this week, and Charlie was there. And there's a quick video of a fan like he's signing like a Funko Pop from a fan. And the fan goes, "I can't wait to see you in Spider Man," and he just bursts out laughing. <laughs> so I met Charlie Cox. I that did, reminds me, I, I met did too. Cox. I did too. I met him after his Broadway show, and I stuck a Daredevil, uh, Matt Matt Murdock, Nelson and Murdock, uh, of Avocados at Law business card. I stuck oh, it in nice. the playbill, oh, hoping he would timer. see it, but he didn't. That's it fell minutes. to the floor as he went to sign it. That's five. Oh, minutes. that was already five minutes. All right. Well, sorry. We, did, we didn't talk we, about we the didn't other finish thing. Up. I told you Hunter wasn't going to be able to hold it up. Sorry, I ramble a lot though. So technically, that's kind of on we me were too. talking about Hawkeye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, give uh, us another five minutes, please. If you skip five minutes, thank you. yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to try and stall here in case you skipped a little bit over five minutes. <laughs> uh, so just, we'll just talk about Hawkeye real quick. Hey, it looks good. It starts in, on the 24th. First, in, hold on. Episode one, episode two, episode three. Okay. Uh, and starting timer now. It's the thing I was counting there. <laughs> <laughs> Daredevil, or sorry, Kingpin is rumored to be in Hawkeye episode four at the end and then he plays a big role in five i see you got my message so that that all come those both those episodes come out before no way home so interesting we'll see kingpin first um look i got daredevil back somebody gave me back punisher let's keep it going <laughs> yeah i'd be I, I want luke cage back i really like luke cage i want my culture back as luke cage he was he, he's so good for that yes he looks so much like and I, I want jessica jones i want Kristen redder back as jessica jones do you want uh, Danny Rand back? I think he had a big redemption in the second season. Okay. But he's he's someone I, I'm wondering if they'll That's recast fair. because all those articles came out this year about him not wanting to train or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's something I'm curious about. Mm -hmm. But I, oh, I mean... Uh, sorry, we, yeah. we're being timed here. Uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider uh, the other picture was Tom Holland, Toby Maguire, Andrew Garfield. Standing on a um looks like uh the construction thing that I was the trying Andrew to make a three leaked. jokers joke, but I couldn't think of anything witty. Okay. <laughs> three Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. And uh they're standing what seems to be the exact same set as the Andrew Garfield leak, but with the visual effects done. But it's the same kind of construction area that they're in. Uh we're mm -hmm. to be Statue of Liberty as well. Um but yeah, it's just a picture of the three of them all saying that. Yep. A lot of people are like, why does Toby look old, but Dr. Octopus doesn't? And to answer that question, Dr. Octopus was sucked into the MCU right when he died in Spider-Man 2. Well, Toby lived a bit of a life before he's been sucked in. So, mm. Well, didn't uh, did the Mary Jane, didn't Mary Jane's actress, I'm blanking on her name, Kirsten Dunst, mm -hmm. didn't she say she's not in it? She says she's not in it, she's which in it. I believe. I think we just need, I think it's just gonna be Toby and then the villains. Same with the Andrew. We role. get an end credit scene of Emma Stone as Spider Gwen. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the same thing with Andrew's world though? Like we'll get we'll get Andrew and no one else besides the villains. Like I don't. There's yeah. people thinking we might see the Aunt Mays. I don't think so. What about Venom? <laughs> I think Venom will be an end credit scene. I, I don't think he'll be. In, I hope not either. <laughs> I hope not. But I don't think don't he's give me all that nonsense. The these worlds will collide, and then. I have to see Venom in another end credit scene. <laughs> Daniel RPK. I know, I know, not the most reliable source. He's right about trailers and posters coming out, but he's not really reliable on anything else. But he said that there is a total of seven villains in this movie that you see. That guy. So, Green Goblin, <laughs> Dr. Octopus, Lizard, Sandman, Electro. Those ones are like pretty much confirmed. So there's two more. Venom. Venom. Mysterio. And Mysterio. Yeah, probably Mysterio. like flashbacks of Mysterio. Him on the TV screen being like, Peter Parker's his real name is Spider-Man. Or yeah. the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, this is cool to see this is actually happening. We're getting a movie yeah. with Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, and Matt Murdock all in one. And it's weird. And Doctor I mean, Strange. I never saw this. I never wanted this. I, my original want and wish for Spider-Man 3 was I wanted a serious, um, not low budget, but like 
not chill. Like that's the thing. Like we're throwing the kitchen sink into this one. Like we're throwing everything in, but like the one I wanted when they're saying uh, Craven and they want it, you know, there's Tom Holland was like, yo, Jason Momoa as Craven. Mm-hmm. Like I, the way I pictured it, I wanted it to be Spider-Man's now viewed as a menace. And since the UN it has the Sokovia Accords and like strive to regulate, you know, the Avengers and superhumans, the way I saw it going down is that Spider-Man's wanted and they're like, we need to bring him in. And so they send Craven after him. Oh. And Craven originally is just doing it to bring Spider-Man in. But Spider-Man keeps showing him up and evading him and making him look bad. And so eventually it becomes personal for Craven. And he starts to realize, he goes, oh, no, this is the ultimate prey. He's not going to the UN. I'm just taking this guy out. Like, okay. that's how I wanted it to go down. That's that's the vision I saw for Spider-Man three because John Watts mentioned Craven, and so did Tom Holland. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure both of them mentioned yeah, Tom, Craven. Tom said he wants Craven, they... and so I was like, that would have been so cool. That that's that's been cool. what I envisioned. And then when Spider Verse started saying, I was like, we're doing Spider Verse in live action already. At first, I was confused too. Yeah, I yeah, I was like, dark, okay, story, but but now that we're getting here, it's like, oh my god, we're doing Spider Verse <laughs> time, time. So, uh, yeah. Thanks Spider-Man. for bearing with us for 10 minutes, mate. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we talked about Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, do I have some rumors to tell you, Sean? But I won't on the podcast because it might be spoilers. So we'll do it another time. Rumors to tell me on the podcast? Well, there's Spider-Man rumors that this isn't a spoiler. This is a rumor. I'm, I don't even know the source. Dude, we just r- talked. We just talked. I know. This, this is, I'm not talking and about then anything you're gonna big. Hold I'm not talking about rumors. anything big. I'm just saying there's rumors that this movie will be a lot more dark and gritty, especially since Tom said this is a dark movie. But yeah, there's, there's like supposed leaks, not no images or anything of what will happen that will make this movie dark. And I'm guessing Toby's dying. I won't say a thing. I won't confirm. I'm guessing Toby's deny. dying. I'm gonna deny that. Actually, that that is not the case. I I I, I just I just want to see nerds cry. No, they're not gonna <laughs> kill Toby off. Maybe Toby Spider Man, but not Toby McGuire. Oh no, not the He's in Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. Anyways, we'll move on from Spider Man. Um, there's an actor whose name I'm going to pronounce now. The name is Chuck Woody Iwugi. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, and he's I don't gonna, think you did, but I, I might have. He's going to be in Peacemaker, but he's also oh, gonna okay. Be, I know who, you're talking about. He's also going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy three. And James Gunn said he can't reveal the role yet, but the role is an, a role that every actor in Hollywood wanted. For Guardians oh. of the Galaxy three, but who are you it, thinking? I don't know. I mean, Harry Styles is Arrows. Silver. Surfer. Anybody's on the table. Silver Surfer. You think Silver Surfer? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm mm-hmm. trying to think. It must be a big character though. Galactus. Hip the troll. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I can't think of many. Oh, well, we're getting Adam Warlock. The internet lost their minds over Will Poulter. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Will Poulter! Uh, <laughs> but we're getting we're getting Adam Warlock. Who who's a Guardians character? So, Silver Surfer. I don't know. I'm yeah. saying Silver Surfer for me. I could see Silver Surfer. That's what I'm saying for now. Okay. I'm trying Surfer. to think who would be related to the Guardians though. That also is a possibility. Because I feel like I feel like Marvel's hesitant to throw Silver Bug? Surfer in yet. Maybe Bug? Bug? Yeah. Fuck is Bug? You don't know Bug? Bug is a... He's a Guardians of the Galaxy member. He's like an old Guardians member. Not old, like early 2000s, but um, he was in the Annihilation events, and James Gunn said that he wanted to do Bug in the first Guardians, but decided not to. Mm. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, mate. He's the guy that's like, tick. But lot. hold on. But you're telling me all of Hollywood's going to be like, <laughs> I want to be Bug. Oh, that's a good point. Never mind. Silver Surfer. Like, that's Silver my... Surfer would make sense as somebody everybody wants to be. And now this is this is a, this is a guy, correct? Yeah. Because I was going to say, if we were going to go like modern Guardians, what's her name? Moon Dragon? Oh, Moon Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna Hulk. say like I could see I could see a character like that, but this is a this is joining a the male, so okay. Moon Dragon's a woman, so they won't do that. 
All right. I, I, I honestly don't know who else it we'll could to, be. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Because the only thing, the, like the re- main reference I have is Donny Cates, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Oh, well, maybe it's that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we'll have to wait and see. Imagine if I get John Bernthal as Cosmic Ghost Rider. Whoa. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think he's the kind of guy who'd want to be in, in a, like a green screen type area from set. Mm. I I know he's open. He wants to come back as Punisher. I know he's open. I know that. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Um, Black Panther two is going to feature the son of T'Challa. This was reported what? on Monday. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they said. Uh, see, see, this is when you can tell that I really dive into the news on Friday nights because. <laughs> Throughout the week, I'm doing classes in school and I can't read everything. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That, that's my job, I guess, where I'm also doing classes in school. But I reported on this. Uh, yeah, but I have, uh, you work, what, what you, you work, you work, I work, I work. Okay. Yeah, mine's a Monday through Friday, so it's a little rough. Same, same, Monday through Here's Friday. Monday I through have Friday? classes from nine to five. Working nine to and my, five. my bus leaves at 7.20, you know, 7.45, sorry, 7.45 a.m. Yeah, they gotta drive to the bus stop. Aren't aren't you in like seven feet of snow already? Isn't it like November? Somehow, no. <laughs> I don't know how. It hasn't snowed. Global yet. warming. <laughs> well, let me check the let me check the weather. It hasn't snowed at all. Soon it's to so be strange. tackled in Superman <laughs> Son of Kal-El number seven. It's supposed fight, to join the a, fight against global warming. It's supposed to snow an hour from now <laughs> as we're recording. So yeah, yeah I, I'm completely shocked. It's supposed to snow a lot on Monday, I guess, but yeah no nothing yet um anyways uh so yeah son of son of black panther is going to appear and i'm guessing that'll lead into the main black panther the only thing that they said about this character is the son of t'challa which doesn't have a name yet as far as i know uh will not be a toddler (laughs) that's all they said but we still don't have an age time travel maybe uh so to almost done um Astria will be returning for Wonder Woman 3. Everyone's favorite character. Your favorite character, right, Sean? Astria? Oh, you mean that post grad scene? Yeah, so Linda Carter's character. Yeah, who, um, yeah she's going to be in Wonder Woman 3. Okay. Cool, yeah. Asteria, um, by the way. You tried. Oh, I tried, yeah. Uh, Henry Cavill says that the cape is still in the closet and that he's open oh, to Oh, I got to read. I, I started that Hollywood Reporter article and I never got back to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I know he now. said I know he talked about a lot. Yeah. He basically said that the suits are still in the closet. He doesn't want to be done playing Superman, but it's all up to Warner Brothers. Uh he says that he's happy to see more Superman. Like, yeah, he gave his thoughts being... on the new the new Superman, right? Yeah, he said that he's like Superman isn't just a skin color, like it's a symbol of hope. It's a it's a legacy, it's a character, and that anyone can be Superman. <laughs> so he's Henry excited Cavill. for the future of Superman, but he still wants to return one day. He said that he thinks there's a lot of potential because the Man of Steel healed Zod and then he like would like vow to never kill again and that he wants to be more of a hopeful Superman and less of a, if I wanted, you'd be dead already. So, And he'd be good. He'd be mm-hmm. good at it. When asked if he'd want to be in a Marvel movie, he said that he heard rumors that they're doing, that they're trying to cast Captain Britain and mm-hmm. he would love to do that and have it more modernized like what they did with Captain America. Yep. So, cool. I'll take it. Yeah. And that's the news of the week. I would I want to see him as James Bond too. I'd like him as Bond. Have you seen Man from Uncle? I have seen Man from Uncle and he's yeah. very good in that. He is very good. That, in that. that's a movie that I, I don't think it performed well or not as well as they had hoped. But it I really enjoyed good. I enjoyed that movie. I did too. And I, I, I think, don't watch anything with Henry. I think he did a very I, I really liked him in that movie. Yeah. And I I liked Army Hammer before, you know, all that. <laughs> but, yeah, but I, I loved Army <laughs> Hammer too. Yeah, like the movie's very good. And even also another uh, actor that I really like is Hugh Grant. Um, um, like the, the, the guy who was kind of in charge of, I think it was the British intelligence. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Could, yeah. Have you ever seen the movie The Gentleman? I have not. Sorry. That's my number one movie of 2020. It's phenomenal. It's a Guy Ritchie film. Hugh Grant is like kind of narrating the plot. It's so good. Like mm-hmm. that, that not for kids, if you're listening to this. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that, that's my number one of 2020. Yeah, it was such a great movie. Not for kids, because unlike Black Panther's son, 
There's a lot of toddlers listening to this podcast right now. Oh my god. Uh, now the comments of the week. Um, we'll start. With oh, the that was one. all the news. That was all the news. We'll start with. That was all the news. Uh, I got a song filled. So venom here. Money don't grow on trees. The green, but you those got are a leaves. song filled. So venom happened. Sean, you told me you skimmed it. Then we're like, I skimmed. This it. is too cosmic. I'm here, gonna go back here, to reading Cosmic Ghost Rider. I, I already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what I already know. What my issue is. It's I'm getting I'm I'm sounding really nerdy on this podcast, but that's on this the comic book podcast yes, yeah. where we talk but like, about I'm, comics. I'm ta- I talked supernatural. I talked um, the gentleman. I'm just bringing up everything I like. But the problem I think I had, like that, just didn't motivate me to read this all the way through yet, is the same problem I had with Doctor Who. Matt Smith <laughs> is my Doctor Who. I couldn't get into any other doctor. So who's your Venom? So Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman are my Venom team. Oh, oh. Or at least Donnie Cates is my writer. I don't know if I can get into another Venom run. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I enjoyed it. I know. It looks interesting. I I, I don't know. I, I, I was cool with Null and like the being from <clears throat> another galaxy to fight. But now that Venom is full on in space, I'm kind of like, all right, all right. I mean, here it's a mix of both. So there, there's I know it's both Dylan and Eddie. Also, they looked like they aged Eddie down because Eddie was like an old old. man in Venom 200. Now he kind of looks like, you know, cool, cool bearded dad. You know, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, yeah, essentially. It, this was really, really good, though. Like, honestly, I'll give this, like, a 9. I'm going to say my rating around the bottom. Maybe 9.5. Well, another thing I was intimidating start. about was that it's, like, 50 pages. I it was not ex- quite long. I was not expecting that. So, here's the plot. We have two yeah. sides. We have street-level Venom, which is the son of Eddie Brock, Dylan. Dylan. And we have Cosmic Venom, who's Eddie Brock. So, street-level Dylan. The king Dylan, in black. All he is, is he's just like, wow, my dad is in space. He's a like, god now, but that means I have no parents. I'm kind of living on my own. Um, I the life sucks for me, but I can't complain because my dad's a god, kind of thing. I'll just keep moving on and keep doing my own thing, you know. Venom is a god, Dylan, but no one really knows it except for Eddie. So you know, he's just like, I am Venom, but I don't want to be Venom. I'll just use it for self defense. Meanwhile, in space, so that's the side story. Space is the main story. Uh, Eddie is Venom, and he's he's controlling other. You symbiote. said Dylan doesn't want to be Venom. It seems like, well, he's not using his powers or anything, so. Oh, because, like, at the end of 200, he it was, like, Venom, yeah. siren, sirens go off and it goes, don't you have to go somewhere? And, like, he races off to save Well, people. sorry, not that he doesn't want to be Venom. It's more so that he's not being Venom. He's Hunter, you have sad. to explain these things clear. You're right, you're right. He's just being <laughs> a sad lad. So, uh, <laughs> He's just Eddie, being a sad lad. He has other symbiote with him, and oh they, there's God. a scroll ship, so he goes in the scroll ship. I saw you fought shooting. Yeah, and they're just like, okay, well, hey, keep in mind, Null's gone. I want to try to make peace in the galaxy. I don't want to be your enemy. But you're shooting at me, so I'm going to fight you. A little fight scene. <laughs> so he has three symbiotes following him. One of them's eyes glow red, and it slaughters yeah. everyone on the ship. Looks at Eddie and says, don't it's get like too from com- the future, right? Yeah, it says, don't get too comfortable on your throne, King of Black. Soon it'll empty. This is a message from the future. This is not a threat, not a warning, simply a statement of fact. You will not know the day nor the hour you'll see it coming, Eddie. So say goodbye to so say your goodbyes now. Talk to your people you love, Eddie Brock, your son, your other. Tell them to run, tell them to hide. It won't make a difference. And then he disappears. And then he's like, What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So things are happening. Okay. It goes down to Earth. Middle of the night, it's 2 a.m. Dylan's sleeping. Eddie comes into the house after being gone for two weeks. He's like, Dylan, wake up. We got to go now. Pack your things. Get out now. And Dylan's like, okay. Starts packing. As he's packing, he gets a phone call from his dad, who's downstairs at the time, answers it and says, hello. And the person on the other end, his supposed dad says, Dylan, listen to me. Don't say a word. It's okay. Listen to my voice, Dylan. It's me, dad. I know he's in the house with you. I want you to stay. Say, never mind. I found what I'm looking for and try to get out of the house. Pack what you need to have. And jump, get out the window, run. So the his, you know, the Eddie Brock in the house saying pack your things isn't his dad, it's someone else. How so, do we know? 
Well, and then the, he how do we not know that. the Eddie Brock in the house is dead? Yeah, and the one yeah. calling him. He lying. actually asked that. He, he says, he "says How do I know I could trust you?" And uh, the Eddie on the phone says, "You don't just trust yourself." So Dylan eventually just decides, "Okay, I'm gonna jump." And wasn't Sleeper in it? Does Sleeper go with him? Sleeper did go with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, uh, Eddie is waiting for him at a motel nearby. Uh, starts to see the future, I guess. Like the venom, the symbiote enemy is an all symbiote who starts to show him like signs of the future where he sees a red symbiote called Bedlam. Uh, Bedlam. Bedlam. He sees helicopters. He sees um, himself in space. He sees Kang the Conqueror for some reason. And Kang even says, I tell you this as your oldest friend, Edward. You cannot win this. Time is a river. It's like, oh, oldest friend. Okay. And then eventually. Sure, Eddie. Yeah, and then eventually came uh, to kill the devil. Dylan arrives. I love that line from Loki. This, yeah, <laughs> you came to kill the devil, but I'm the one that keeps you safe. Not bad delivery. Thank you. Uh, I'm so excited come. for Jonathan Majors on SNL tomorrow night. Oh, is he on tomorrow? He's on tomorrow night. Musical guest oh. is Taylor Swift. It actually looks like a really good episode. Fair enough. Uh. Helicopters come, they they attack, and then did you um, know that uh escape. Taylor Swift uh Shake It Off was lip sung by Dwayne the Rock Johnson on Lip Sync Battle? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, this was before it's about drive, it's about power. <laughs> oh, I imagine it would be. <laughs> <laughs> this is the song is still fairly new. Oh my god. But yeah, issue ends with Eddie having a vision in space, and there's a, a new character, I think a new character called Meridius. It's like that guy. I haven't heard this character before, so I imagine it looks like Hella. Yeah, a little bit. Just a male version. So yeah, first appearance of Mer- Meridius is like becomes a big villain. Or or hero, new character in general. That's that. Um Black Manta, I'll just say real quick. It's about uh David, who's Black Manta, finding Did um, he laser little children like you wanted him to? No, he didn't. He just uh he found Atlantis though, and he he tried to kill um a bunch of guards and yeah all right so he's killing people you should be happy yeah he's a villain again <laughs> he's just not so bad but all all this, this, <laughs> the art's kind of just very simplistic and not like francis monopoly simplistic it's just a little like okay you know it's it's all right uh, it what, what's your what's your take on that like on art because like there are issues of zadarsky's daredevil where the art i think it's like issue 14 around there where the art gets really simplistic and like oh, I like it like flat I like it so it needs so to like, have a style what, though what's your take on that it like needs what to have a style. what do you prefer most I love like obviously work like Chichetto is breathtaking oh yeah of course but like then Chichetto. you look at Mark Wade's Daredevil and it's still amazing it's its own style to it same with uh Aegis uh Hawkeye it's mm-hmm. so simplistic it's nice Mm-hmm. For for Black Manta, there's not really a style to it. I mean, there obviously is, but like this is like the big page where it starts. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, there's no clouds in the sky. It's just just the sky's more of a green, if anything, and it's not underwater at that point too. Here's mm-hmm. the, here's one that one a big example. So um, there's a monster that he's fighting, and they they fall into the ocean, and here's the big splash. Hmm. So it's just kind of like there's not much going on there. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of it's simplistic, but it's not. There's not really a style to it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jared Leto. It's all a matter of preference Spider-Man. and taste. Of course, yeah. Some people might love it. I'm not nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Just not for me. Uh, your, I saw some panels from this that I really liked. Jared Leto has got his uh, arm cut off uh his morbius goes arm cut all off. right it wasn't that but okay <laughs> yeah and he just runs away <laughs> that, that was about it uh, i yeah. liked the black cat panels yeah i was supposed to say black cat isn't it black I cat visits panels. peter who's in a coma right now and it's just like wake up to me spider and then mj's uh walks and, and he and does wake up and he wakes up for a black second cat. wakes up for a quick second then falls back into the coma and it's nice. Black Cat says, I'm sorry, I'll go. And MJ says, no, you should stay. It's the first time I've seen him move since the start. How Cat many more love interests do you want yeah. me to get in here? MJ says, don't be like that. 
don't don't take it like that however i can get it like just just stay here but change your damn clothes before a nurse comes in here and then yeah she's yeah. she whispers and she's like peter. good looking out yeah you're right <laughs> he whispers at peter like how many more love interests do you need me to get in this room we'll do whatever it takes that's showing right. so much maturity in their relationship like mj's like get out of here like ah, ah you can't be in here like this is peter's in a coma get out of here and said she's just like you have a history of peter and that's okay you you mean peter means something to you and that's okay like I like Peter better with drink. Black Cat, and I don't care who fights oh, me. Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously? I like Black Cat. <laughs> I know you do, but you like Peter with Black Cat? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I just find it more of an excitable relationship. So I like you... I like the cat and mouse, the fighting. I like that. <laughs> so when it's like, once they see your Mary Jane Watson, you say Felicia Hardy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a hot take. I don't think anyone has that. <laughs> that is a hot you. take. JD is listening to this right now. Like Sean, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think JD prefers uh, Gwen. Well, yeah. Wow. I feel, well, while he hates Mary Jane's dialogue, yeah, he doesn't because <laughs> he's reading so like Stanley Spider Man. So, so Mary Jane's very odd. But I, I like Black Cat. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Gwen fan. I, I like Gwen the best. I mean, she's I dead, like but... I like Spider Man Black Cat interactions. I don't I don't like Black Cat on her own. Like her solo book, I enjoy, but I do feel she's best when she's with Spider Man because they play off each other in books so well. Have you read Ultimate Spider Man? Uh, is that that's no, no the Bendis one, right? Yeah, where where Peter throws up on her. He does throw up on her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't read. I haven't read all of it, but I've seen. I've seen panels and they, I've, I've skimmed some stuff. They have it because uh, Peter breaks up with MJ for a bit, and he has this relationship with Black Cat where he's just flirting with her, each other, and Black Cat even like sets up a picnic on a roof for him and everything. Yeah. And uh, and then realizes he's like fifteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he never takes off the mask until later on, and then he takes off. She takes off his mask and sees that he's just like a kid. And Peter like leans in for a kiss. She's like, "Oh, what the? Oh, God, oh wait, no, she done? throws up on him. Right? Yeah, she throws up on him. Yeah, she throws up on him because uh, Peter goes to kiss her and takes off the mask. And fifteen year old boy, and she's like, "Oh God, <laughs> like, what, what have I done? Why have you been flirting?" With me? Ladies and gentlemen, we, we got, got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Monica shows up in this issue, like Captain Marvel. Ben, ah, yeah, okay. what? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, and she doesn't do anything, but. Ends with a photon. Uh, Craven. Photon. Craven oh, like, Craven. Oh, I'm a I'm a Kilburn Riley. Uh, kind of cheesy dialogue. He literally says he says in, he's you know Central Park tree, <laughs> spying on Ben going for a walk, and says, "Ah, how sweet." But those crazy kids should probably make that goodbye kiss happen now. It's like, uh, what are you saying? <laughs> so yeah, a little cheesy, but I, oh my god. I'll keep reading it. I'm reading until Peter wakes up, which is February, I think. So. Now, here's the other thing. If Peter does not wake up during Devil's Reign... He won't. He, he won't? Wakes up, he wakes up in February, which is when Devil's Reign ends. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I know. That could have been... like like Because that also... That could have been such a good one-shot, I feel. I feel like that could have been a really good special issue mm -hmm. if it's like the city on fire, Peter, we need you. And he finally wakes up. And like, even though he's in no shape, he goes out there and mm -hmm. like makes a big difference. That's something I would want to see. Yeah, no kidding. He, I hope, I hope when I hear he's going to wake up in February that like it's, you know, earlier in time like there's a time difference or something devil's reign is still going on or hasn't happened yet in spider-man please maybe yes yeah. wakes up please. to see the city in danger yeah because um, i think that would be so epic if it's like i don't know maybe a special issue where ben's about to get you know killed or something and then he just shows up maybe even in his hospital gown just the mask and it's just <laughs> like i'm here what do you need <laughs> or even even with matt yeah Speaking of Spider-Man, we forgot news. Spider-Man the Avengers game. Looks all right. Oh my god. Looks all right. You mean you mean the animation where he's dodging punches? Very slowly, yeah. <laughs> very, very slowly. 
Suits look cool. And they showed some suits that you can unlock. Looks okay. Why? Wow. <laughs> I'll check it out. I checked Everybody's out Black Panther. declared this game a failure. I checked out Hawkeye and Hawkeye yeah. and Black Panther. So okay. it's a PS, it's a PS exclusive. That's I don't even stupid. Have, I don't have the Avengers game. I don't have a PS5 or 4, whatever. I'm not playing it. I have a I PS4. Gotta, I gotta get it. the Guardians of the Galaxy game. That's all I gotta do. Very good. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Granted, maybe it's because I don't I'm not into video games as much, but I am not as motivated to play it as I thought it would be. Oh, Guardians? Yeah. See, I, know if I, it, pick, um, I know if I pick it up, I'm gonna have to finish the whole thing because that's just how my brain works. Yeah, not but, for me. I'm, I'm I'm a slow gamer. I, I I play slow games in general. Last game I played was Jedi Fallen Order. Great game. I have not picked up one since. Yeah, no. When it comes to video games, I play like Animal Crossing and Pokemon and Dishonored stealth games. You are the w- worst. <laughs> yeah, I know. Animal Crossing. I love it, man. <laughs> I can't I like that's that's the thing it's definitely one of those things where I wasn't into TikTok and then I downloaded TikTok and I watch way too much TikTok now (laughs) that's how I feel like if I were to get into one of those games do you have a switch I do have a switch it is sitting in that dresser over there my god we should add each other and you should get animal crossing the four the four games I I have for it I have super meat boy um animal not animal crossing i have super meat boy super smash bros um that might be it <laughs> well time, <laughs> get, get pokemon next week pokemon shining diamond brilliant diamond shine pearl whatever you should get it next like, week <laughs> if you want if you want friends in college kids or rather if you want to make friends by getting used in college kids have a nintendo switch with super smash bros that is the key to meeting people because as soon as they see you hook up your Nintendo Switch to the lounge or something, they're all going to be like, yo, I'm down. Let's play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how college goes. <laughs> I am also in college and I can confirm we have played Smash Bros. many, many times. The, like there are in the school, there are probably 30 buildings on my campus. Oh my God. Residence halls. But oh, you're in New York though. Yeah, it was like half prob- the city. There are probably thirty. <laughs> half the city. It's just um, college. <laughs> um, I can probably say that almost every building has held their own Smash tournament. Yeah, everybody's into Smash Bros on college. It's um, either Smash Bros or League of Legends. Yeah, when I goes. when I went to Nate, that's a school that no one's gonna know. Uh, that, that, I was gonna say what Canadian. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say no one's gonna know what that is. What uh, Canadian snowberry <laughs> school? Is I don't know that? why I said the name, but when I went to school for journalism, uh, I have a bachelor's. Oh yeah, same. Yeah. I remember doing that. Yeah, I graduated for journalism. Yeah, and I have the same same Yo, degree same. as you probably. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now we're going for an MBA in marketing. Uh, but yeah, when I did that, I played Smash Bros. like every single week there in tournaments just for fun i brought my own switch and i would hook it up and be like who's down and it's a lot of fun i I go to a different school now and uh because i'm in school for art stuff and haven't done smash bros yet but it's coming it's coming yeah and uh yeah you want to talk robins or um not much happened (laughs) you're gonna say nah like no nah, i'm good we you know we we so bruce shows up so they go to batman and they're like look um this person clearly knows a lot about us we know nothing about them and so we kind of want to know more and tim's like so if you could please just give me back my access to the bat computer and bruce goes no you're not getting it and so like you know they're all kind of like bruce is hiding something um and so Bruce tells them to stay away from it. Of course they don't. Um, but they're like this series is your series for Bat Family Dynamics, because um, like they get into Steph's van. They're like, we're gonna take the spoiler mobile. And then Damien's like, this isn't a spoiler mobile. This is this is just a minivan. <laughs> and spoilers like, 
Yeah, but it's the only car that Batman can't track, and none of y'all have your own cars aside from the Wayne Trust, so shut up and get in the van, like that type of deal. Um, and then basically it recaps all their first missions as Robins, their gauntlets, mm -hmm. as they say, um, and it kind of goes over their motivations as Robin. So like Dix is to please Batman and be a good sidekick. Jason's is to like just punish crime. Um, the only one who failed their test that's mentioned is Damien. Steph. Or Steph. Okay. Steph. And that because like Damien was giving her shit, um, being like, You're 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 not really like us, you're not a Robin or whatever. And like they show like Steph's uh failure, or at least in Bruce's eyes, failure. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it brings up like so basically. Um, all of their people that they faced in these gauntlets are locked up in a warehouse. And there is an interesting moment where they go, well, there's only three. Shouldn't there be four? Because Dick, Dick's got killed. Um, so they're like, where's Damien's? And Tim goes, oh, that's rather awkward. Um, I was Damien's because it talks about the time Damien kicked the crap out of Tim. Mm -hmm. Um like really early on in Damien's, you know, appearances. Mm -hmm. And and so yeah, like basically just like low tier comic uh villain sidekicks show up. Um giggles and guffaw, kitten, chick and honeysuckle. I don't I'm I'm guessing these are like really old school or Let's like see. yeah. Yeah, cuz they're like oh, these are like rejected villain sidekicks or whatever um and so they fight them and it basically ends with uh red hood like going after the clowns being like that's it and then dick's like okay we got to protect these clowns from red hood now because he's gonna straight up kill them and that's kind of where the issue leaves off like the clowns use face technology to look like joker and it's like jason's like joker you know it's just okay it, it's it's sure. It's it, it it's enjoyable. You get a lot of bad family dynamics, which I like. But this is definitely a series that's like, okay, I'm having a good time. I don't think it's something you have to read because I don't know if this is in continuity or where it might take place in continuity. Because it's definitely before a lot of sorry, I just a lot of stuff because Damien's not in his you know suit. tournament yeah suit so. Is uh yeah. Tim Robin or is he Red Robin? I think he's in a I think he's in a Robin suit, but I think he answered to Red Robin in this issue. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Okay. But I, I I'm enjoying it. It's it like I said, I it, it's pretty good. It's just, you know, I, I I'm not gonna like be here being like, oh my god, you have to read this because it's gonna tie into this, this, that. No, I just think it is a book that you can pick up, you can have a good time, and then you know, when you're done with it, you're done with it. Yeah. that type of deal fair enough and that's a hero story that is a hero story. that that is a hero story so thank you for everyone who joined us i'm sorry if we spoil if we spoiled spider-man for you um hopefully you skipped ahead if you didn't want that to be spoiled it's yeah 10, 10 minutes, minutes to, to sift yeah through, but... yeah my bad i don't think we talk about a certain thing that long but yeah uh if you want sean to return let us know like you do every single time and I've been on this thing like what three, four weeks in a row now. Something like that. You want to come back next week? I probably will. <laughs> we'll we'll see. But the only the only night comics. that I would the only night that I wouldn't be available is uh the twenty sixth because that's Thanksgiving. American Thanksgiving. American Thanksgiving. The but only right not, Thanksgiving. No, I'm just kidding. But you're not American. You're in New York. And that's a hero story. Thanks for joining oh us. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> uh they uh, i know you're they, like gonna say like my exact like nationalities like i know that you're 75 percent irish 25 percent german <laughs> are you uh something around there my sister my sister sent uh her dna into one of those uh things ancestry so. things yeah yeah so when her clone shows up well no <laughs> fair enough right, when she uh, starts acting weird we got a lot of comments to go over next week. So if you join us then, that'd be Fear painful. State ends next week. Well, good. good. It doesn't end, end because there's going to be the Fear State Omega 
later it essentially ends yeah yeah so thank you brother tech nine thank you Terramana. one take face off <laughs>